What's up everyone, I'm Tyler Casey. I'm a music video director and often on Instagram I get asked how I get my videos to look so good, how I create my promotion. So I wanna go in depth on this video and really talk about how I use Instagram and how I do my export settings in Premiere Pro. The thing about Instagram is it's always updating and now there's a lot of different file formats. There's all sorts of ways that you can export on Instagram. It's important to know how to make really good promos on Instagram because that's how you sell yourself, especially when you're a music video director or you just wanna build your business on Instagram. So there's four types of aspect ratios on Instagram. The first one is 16 by nine, usually that's 1920 by 1080. And that's just your basic rectangle that's going to be for widescreen stuff. It's what we shoot in for video so you can just upload your video right there and it's going to be the perfect aspect ratio. That's horizontal and it doesn't take up that much space on the Instagram page. The second way is one by one which is 1080 by 1080. This is a perfect box and usually this is associated with white bars or subtitles or something along those lines that's gonna be the perfect square. That's originally what Instagram was, and then they started adding new formats. So this is the original, the one by one. And then there's four by five, which is a portrait. It's 1080 by 1350, and that one's gonna take up the most space on the Instagram feed. It's, you can still do promotions with this. Sometimes you see white bars with this. There's all sorts of ways to use this one. Um, sometimes people even edit videos in this. So this is a very useful one. I'm gonna talk about how to do these and how to edit these. The last one is 1080 by 1920, and this is a vertical video. This is for Instagram stories and IGTV. So now I'm gonna head into Premiere Pro and show you guys how to create your sequences. All right, what's up guys? I'm in Premiere Pro now, and I have the clip that I wanna promote on Instagram. So I'm gonna show you guys a few different ways that you guys can create different sequences for different shapes and sizes on Instagram. So you guys can become a master at this and create a bunch of dope promotions for you, your clients, and help grow your business. So this is my clip right here. Uh, what we can do is we can right click and click properties. We can see this is 1920 by 1080, 23.976. So let's say we drag this into a new sequence. This is gonna be the clip that we could drag into Instagram. This is regular 16 by nine right here. This is 1920 by 1080. You really could import this straight into Instagram right now and you could just trim it uh, the way you wanted it to because you're only allowed to post a minute. Um, one thing that I do like suggesting when sending to clients is putting the best frame, like let's say that's the best frame and like, uh, I don't know, let's say that's my favorite frame. I can duplicate this right here. Uh, I'm holding Alt or Option and I'm gonna drag that to the very beginning. Where to go, let me zoom in here and we can drag that to the very beginning. So you can see on the very first frame, we have my hands up like that, and let's say we put text, and let's say we change that to white. That very first frame, and then look, we're gonna delete that right there. So if we use our arrow key, it's only one frame. You're not gonna see it. So what that does is Instagram takes the very first frame and makes that the thumbnail for Instagram post. So this is really useful, especially if you have a video, like let's say this faded in from black and like, let's say we don't see this, like let's say it goes like that. That's what's gonna get posted. And some of us are good and we go through and we change the cover. But sometimes when you send this to clients, you wanna make it as easy as possible for them. So when you do this, they're gonna have the best thumbnail possible and it's gonna get a lot more views. Cause the thumbnail is really important, even on Instagram compared to YouTube, it's still really important. So you can see it'd be just like that. So that's important. And then the way I export this is I would just, let's say, let's say it's a full minute. I come all the way out to a minute. I click O to make an in and out point. I hit Command or Control M, depending on you're a Mac or PC. Now here comes my settings, 1920 by 1080, 23976. I just match my original, that's the correct for the 16 by nine. And then render at maximum depth, and then usually I put this around like 20 or so. Instagram's gonna compress it no matter what, so that's how I transfer my stuff right there. And I would go ahead and export that. I'm gonna show how to get it on your phone a little bit later on, but now we're gonna do a new aspect ratio. We're gonna right click, go sequence settings, and then we're gonna change this to 1080, and then we're gonna change that one to 1080, and then we see it says one by one, so we need, know we did it right. 23.976, we're all set here. Click OK, click OK, and now we're cropped in. You could leave it like this, which is cool. It's gonna fit Instagram better. 
I don't know, it's more of like a native look to it. But what you can also do is we can right click here. Let's delete that first little frame we got there. We'll get rid of that. Right click and go to scale to frame size and then you're gonna get these black bars. So these black bars aren't actually there. It's really just, as you can see, I drag something under it and then you have video under it. So it is black and you could put text over it. It is black and you can put text over it. But if you guys wanna change it to the classic white, all you have to do is come over to color mat and click okay, change it to any color you want. And then we're gonna drag that under and now we have the classic white Instagram bars and we could change this to black. All right, we have to click Control A, select all the text, change it to black. We'll make it a little bit smaller and we'll actually write something crazy, crazy video. It's a crazy video, guys. And we can move that up on top. And we got a crazy video. Uh, make sure to check out the video I did about making Gary V promos. I cover this and how to do the timer at the bottom where it shows the length of the clip and how to do subtitles and also how to drag in emojis. So that's a pretty dope video. Make sure to check that. I'm going to link that one below as well. This one is really just going over the different formats and some tips and tricks along the way. So I would export this the exact same way. Control M. Make sure it looks right here. It fits in perfect. It's 1080 by 1080. Uh, same thing. I don't really click maximum render quality. I click render maximum depth. And then you can move it up just a little bit like 20. Uh, that's a pretty big. Uh, it's not doing the full minute. It's doing longer than a minute. It's doing 256. So we would want to trim that. Um, you can either delete all this other crap or you can just set an in and out point. I didn't do the whole clip, but it's fine. And as you can see now, we're at 28 seconds. Uh, render maximum depth and then we can just click that right there and then pick where you want to save it by clicking there and then export that so the next one is good if you want a little bit more space and it takes up more space on the Instagram feed so when people are scrolling they're more likely to stop because it's a bigger video and you have more real estate so to change that we're gonna right click we're gonna go sequence settings and we're gonna type in 1350 right there and it should change to four point or four by five Click OK and look at that. So we're going to just scale up our color mat and we can either drag this down. We can even make it a little bit bigger and go like that. It could take up the whole screen. That's not a very good freeze frame in my face. You can do all sorts of stuff with this, but you can play around with it now. So now you have a lot more space. We can move that text down below. Now we have a full resolution post that can take up a lot of space on Instagram. To export this out, we're going to click Control M, same thing, and now we're going to see 1080 by 1350. It's simple as that. I'm not doing anything that different from you guys. Hopefully you guys are just getting your sequence settings right and doing these exact same steps. The last one is for Instagram Stories and IGTV. And the way we want to do that is go to Sequence Settings. We're going to go 1080 by 1920. And that should be 9 by 16. Instead of 16 by 9 like the first one, it's going to be 9 by 16. Click OK. And things are going to get super elongated. It's a, So we can scale this up. I've, I don't really see too many white bar videos on Instagram stories or IGTV. But you can still do that if you like. You can still do text. You can play around with these. What Instagram Stories has done, it used to only be where you could do 15 seconds, but now they've updated it where it's going to chop it automatically up for you. So you really could drag in like a minute clip and it'll break it up into 15, 15 second segments for you, which is really cool. So now you could have a little bit longer videos. I could post this right here and it would completely chop it up for me. I could scale it up like this, even though that's a little too close. I could go here. And I could get rid of the color mat and I could just duplicate it. I could drag this underneath and then I could just add a really nice blur to it. There we go. And that could say DM me. And the way we export that is the exact same way 1080 by 1920. Uh, maximum depth uh, you want to keep these actually a little bit shorter I maybe wouldn't click maximum depth 
you want to keep these a little bit smaller because they are going onto your Instagram TV. So I usually leave them around like 11 or 15. I like to leave these a little bit smaller for the Instagram story. And same thing, you're going to pick where you want to save it and export it. One of the easiest ways is using Dropbox or Google Drive. So the way I do this is I'm in Google Drive. I've already uploaded my clip. You just go on your computer, drag it onto your Google Drive. Pretty simple. Come on your iPhone. Then you're going to click Export you're gonna click save video it's gonna then give you a little bar and download the video that's one way to do it on Dropbox the other way on Google Drive is pretty similar I found that Google Drive takes a little bit longer to download you want to click the three dots right here you're gonna to go to send copy and you're gonna click save video let that export and then it should download it takes a little bit longer for big files on Google Drive so I prefer Dropbox now to post a file, I'm gonna go all the way through with you guys so you guys have no questions. To post on Instagram, there's my clip right there. If you, if you don't see it, you're gonna have to click camera roll up here and you're gonna have to go through either videos or you're gonna have to go through all these folders and look for it. So good luck because sometimes it does get lost. Here's my post right here. Always make sure if you did the four by five to click this little expand button. That's a big deal because your clip's not gonna come out the way you want it to look, and that's just 1080 by 1080 right there. Now we're in four by five. Click next. If you guys did not make a thumbnail like I showed you to, you can scroll through and pick your own thumbnail. If you made it a little too long or if you don't wanna show everything, you're feel free to trim it. Should be all set there. Don't add a filter because you should have already colored your clips. Click next and you should be all set. Type out your caption. So I hope you guys found this useful. If you guys did, feel free to like it. Comment below what you guys thought about this. I also have a podcast, the Wolf Talk podcast. So make sure to check that out where I sit down with other music video directors, editors, and they give lots of tips and tricks on how they do what they do. I'm Tyler Casey. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys next time. Thanks.